uh, Yamaguchi Museum also has a um, display of the fauna, the animals of Yamaguchi. Unfortunately, the uh, book of the display is all in Japanese, but I will uh, introduce you to the, uh, the animals that live in um, Yamaguchi's mountains. There are Itachi, uh, Itachi are weasels, and uh, uh, they say in Japanese that when you try and get rid of something that always comes back, it's like playing a weasel, because when you get rid of a weasel, uh, then another weasel will move in. There are also wild boar. There are a lot in Kurume too, where I used to live, and I used to sort of find them in my garden, and uh, my border collie dogs would uh, round them up for me. And they're quite large, as you can see, and scary. I don't hear of a lot of people dying from uh, wild boar attacks there. Uh, those are tanuki, or prairie dogs. Uh, they're said to transform themselves into humans and have large testicles. Um, and uh, deeper into the woods, this is a beech forest, a display of a beech forest with stuffed animals. Uh, there are more weasels, uh, some kind of uh, wild mouse, uh, another weasel up in the tree. And also, I didn't know until I came here today, that even in Yamaguchi there are bears. That bear is about as large as hmm, a big dog. I wouldn't like to meet it. It's got teeth, and it, apparently it's a tsukino guma, which means a tsukino bear. And they live um, deep in the forests in the western and central part of Yamaguchi. I haven't heard of any bear attacks, but as I say, I wouldn't like to meet one. Apparently you shouldn't run away. But that's a different kind of bear. You should look at it, and it will get run away from you. Uh, anything else? are various birds, but I'm afraid I don't know what uh, their names are. I hear some more. Um, lots of monkeys around uh, Yamaguchi. If you go up uh, Kido Mountain, which is at the end, the Mieno end, the northern end of Yamaguchi city, uh, go up to the top and wait around. Sometime in the early morning you'll often see them. There are wild deer. Arai Guma, and that's, that's another kind of bear, but they're not really bears, I don't think. It means a, um, a rough bear, but it's not a bear at all. And they're not terribly scared of humans. At a local um, a ski resort, they, they were just sort of sitting around. What's this thing here? Um, it's a Nutoria. I've no idea what a Nutoria is, but it's a kind of rodent. And rabbits, apparently. I've never seen a rabbit. And flying squirrels. Yes, they used to have those in Kurume too. Very exciting. You'd see them um, jumping from tree to tree. Uh, I'm always thinking that it'd be great if there was a kind of Japanese uh, animal zoo, but generally speaking, in Japanese zoos, they put elephants and tigers because these kind of things are just felt to be, you know, this is the principle of tourism. Anything that you're used to is no big deal. It's more like a um, vermin. Um, more uh, prairie dogs, tanuki. They can get to be quite large, especially the ones that live in town parks. Um, and that's a anaguma, uh, a hole. Uh, presumably, it lives in a hole. Bear it doesn't seem. To, I don't think it is really a bear or a bear species. But oh yeah, it says that in fact it's of the. It's a kind of weasel, but it's called a um, Japanese hole bear, as it lives in holes. Uh, that's a striped snake, uh, not poisonous, at the back there. And this one's really weird. I saw one of these just once in the wild. And they're sort of prehistoric. They're half fish. The tail end looks like a fish. And the front end is like a lizard. I, the sort of uh, aquatic uh, giant newts of some sort. But they look like they've been around since the dinosaurs. And it's called an Osansho. Uo, or Sancho Uo, which means a big coral fish, a big coral fish. Hmm. Um, and also there's various kind of frogs, and these big ones here are the ones that make a lot of noise in summer. And lots of different kinds of lizards and uh, turtles. And it is a shame that uh, the only place you can see them is um, 
as roadkill or in the uh, Yamaguchi Museum stuffed. Um, but uh, if you do go out into the woods, or up uh, Kido Mountain, for instance, into the mountains, you can see them. Um, and they're very exciting. Um, the monkeys are quite threatening, actually. They don't seem to run away nearly quite so much. Uh, I've had monkeys in trees near to me making noises, and that's um, a little bit um, disconcerting.